The world of Anthem is a particularly beautiful one, but also an extremely dangerous one. At the core of that beauty is the Anthem of Creation, a powerful force responsible for the creation of the world and everything in it. The relics left behind by the Shapers, the gods of old that abandoned the world, reshaped the landscape with catastrophic disasters, violent storms and mutated beasts. Let's see what we're up against. The world of Anthem is full of creatures big and small. The Anthem of Creation mutated every single creature, from the harmless Grabbit or the Koroks to the Ursix and Ash Titan. Pretty much every creature wants to kill you, so be careful out there. Outside the walls of Fort Tarsis are many factions. Freelancers that were rejected from society live outside the walls too. They call themselves outlaws. These human bandits are scrapping by to make a living, carrying out tasks such as smuggling. While the generals have javelins like the ranger or storm, the largest part of their forces consist of outlaw gunners, simply humans with weapons. Thirdly, the first faction to be encountered outside of the walls are the Scars. A race of insect-like creatures that act like pirates. They usually spawn Scar scrappers or more elite enemies through hives in the world. While not our biggest enemy and not the most dangerous, they will still be a large threat to the people behind the walls of Fort Tarsis. The best we saved for last. Anthem wouldn't be complete without a baddie trying to harness the power of the Anthem. The Dominion is a militaristic society of humans based in Stralheim, which is a city in the north of the world, that are bent on subjugation of the world and its creations. Their leader, the Monitor, directs the Dominion in a direction that he believes is the greater good, so to speak. The reasons behind their beliefs are yet unknown, but they believe in peace through force. Attempting to harness the power of the Anthem, the Dominion seeks to use it as a weapon to live up to their beliefs. Partly, they succeeded in harnessing the power of the Anthem in the creation of the Storm, a javelin capable of harnessing elemental powers such as fire, ice and lightning through the use of the Anthem. The Storm's design later fell into the hands of the Freelancers, so now we're capable of wielding it too. Another creation of the power of the Anthem that is harnessed by the Dominion is the Fury. These horrible hammerhead creatures are huge and can easily overpower any freelancer. As long as the freelancers have existed, Dominion has been their enemy and they will be the main antagonist in the game. Along the way, we'll discover secrets to the Dominion's past. Are you interested in an infographic briefing on factions? I will create designed intelligence briefings for each faction with all the information on them from the type of soldiers to their backstory to whatever. Once the game is out, of course, and I will upload that on Patreon. It's part of an extra service delivered to our donators. I want to ask you to rate the video with an up or down vote to supply me with feedback and to bring this video in the attention of other freelancers on YouTube that would help me massively and I would be eternally grateful. Subscribing will provide regular videos on Anthem as well as Tom Clancy City Division 1 and 2 in your subscription feed and if you click the notification bell on top of that it will notify you when one of my videos is uploaded. Finally I would like you to provide me with an answer to the following question. Who do you want to fight? Who are the big baddies that you're looking forward to fight? Personally, I like the Earth 6, which is one of the creatures, but I can't wait to fight the Dominion and particularly the Monitor. But we'll have to wait for that. Maybe until the demo, maybe until the game is out, but it should appear fairly soon. Hopefully, I'll see you then or in one of my other videos. Until then, goodbye and peace out.